Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. I'm going to show you how to create a survey using Excel Online. So I'm starting here from my OneDrive for Business and you'll click New and select Excel Survey to get your survey started. Now I'll create a document name. This isn't going to be external facing, so whatever you wanna name your survey. And now I get this editable window that will be kind of crafting my survey for the end user. So whatever I want the survey taker to actually see, I'll start entering here. Now notice when I clicked into the enter your first question here field, I have an additional little pop up off to the side. I can enter the text and then there's a number of different response types to choose. So depending on the type of answer you want to get back, whether it's free form text or limited to a particular format, I like the choice option because that way I create a drop down menu of choices for the survey taker to choose from. I'm going to create the choices, one on each line. If you want the question to be required, you can click this checkbox. And if you want there to be a default answer, so something that the user will see in that drop down menu first, just add it here. So you can continue to add a lot of questions to the survey. I'm just gonna stick with one so I can show you how this works. When I click Save and View, I get a view of what the survey will look like to the survey taker. And the back end behind this window here is where the answers will actually be collected. So what the Excel sheet does is just collect all the answers that people give when we share the survey with them. So I'll click share survey. And then I'm given a link to share. So I'm gonna copy that link and show you what happens when somebody takes the survey. All right, I've got a new window up here. I used that link. So let's say that somebody answers XL, click Submit. They get a response was received message. And when I go back to my backend Excel sheet here, I can see that that answer was recorded. So all of the survey answers will be recorded on this sheet and then I can do whatever I need to do with that data. So you can really get creative and complex with these surveys and hopefully this gave you some ideas to get started. If you want more tips and tricks on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.